what? That he had been attacked, uh, beaten, uh, stabbed. So many bad things done. Yeah, so many bad things had happened to him. Well, uh, the social media internet ran a buzz of his stories. Uh, he appeared in a video, in a video clip on his social, on, on his palace page, and then well, as he was elaborating how he had been attacked, beaten, uh, so much went on. But the story has so many controversies, has so many sub-stories to it. Even the sub-stories have, <laughs> have semi-subs, man, it's, it's, it's a long thing, it's a very long thing. Well, uh, Palazzo claimed that he was beaten uh, because of what? Uh, just of me, uh, because of me being a Ugandan and not South African, that is alleged that that's why he was beaten. Well, but the story has it, uh, a, a, short, a short brief into it, the story has it that Palazzo had stormed one of the nightclubs in, in the city. Tafote, tafote. Ganangen fusa palaso. Tafote, tafote. Chiriao. But somewhere in South Africa. Yeah. Well, Nagam no chiva de alikomu balem. He was one, he, he, he was in a bus. So when he, when he was in a bus, they had gone to take some few sips of drinks. Well, uh, the attack came in that he was taking snaps, some selfies with some Ugandan, Uga, Ugandan fans out there. So they came, uh, they came by by his side. No one saw selfies. Even the young kids were around. Those uh, it wasn't very late, because the young men in Mubala mwa bademo abana abato to iran abone ba wakamba i to to taking selfies in the palace because the Ugandan what celebrity. Well, guess what? Aba 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 from Mubala. Then he was approaching the car. The abademo Mercedes Benz. He was with a guy called Deno. Chu yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah must yeah. be it. So, so as they were approaching the car that they had travelled in, then, then uh, in front of him there was Tunya's brother's car. Well, so now Gamba Munochi, you have that day car. Then all of a sudden, I can do your boom. A ginger, this turning mirror, Java Demuchi Mumotoka, Gabajuku Bangegua. Then I have a day I can do your is being hit at the back by a sudden what stone. So in the due process, yeah, in the in the due process, I can do my zangachi, ngabantu wali mugoba. Well, uh, what do you have to say about Palazzo, Palazzo's story? Because in so, so many subtopics. No, um, basing on what Palazzo gave us, in so many subtopics. Basing on the story Palazzo gave us anyway, um, he says it was a xenophobic attack. Apparently, he was taking photos with ladies, and then abantu baba de next to them, and then they were chanting xenophobic slurs or something, and bunebam songamu. Then Nebamu Chimako, as he was trying to run for his life, Nebamu Kuba Mainja, he says he was badly beaten, he was stabbed, he ran. Then they, it was a very long story. Fernando's are by now to Ajirabe, or to Ajirabe, the story is up on Bu, and uh, you can find the video on our socials, Instagram also, that's Mbu Dechuji. But um, he says he was able to hide in the garage of a school. Mweye kwese jayakole, Mbu jayakole deka video kali ketuwa la benga tekai na any light, any like muzikiza or something, or at least that's what he says. Then, we believe the story, of course, uh, hashtag, well, hashtag, yeah, day, tongue, the same prayer for Palazzo. We did. He's safe, he's fine, he's in the hospital. Yavude, actually, <coughs> he has wounds to Alabia. They were very... Uh, on, on that part of the wound, uh, hospital, yeah, but the mule, some people were uh, uh, doubting him, uh, but the dual, uh, it was something like that. What, 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 what do you think about that? <laughs> Um, they said that it didn't look like a hospital bag and bam with some car clinic over, like um, Uganda, while, while, uh, some Ugandan doctor looks up, um, takes care of Ugandan patients or something of the sort. So that's why people are saying they're saying it's not a, like a big South African hospital. That story, side there, Negwa, we prayed for him, he got better, he's in safe hands, okay. Then today morning we woke up to, <coughs> sorry, we woke up to rumors of um, the attack having been, having probably been a fight because they said Mbu, Palazzo was hitting on some other guy's wife, so then they hit him. We're like, hey, okay. Tetumanyi, you know, there's so much that's been going on there. Noah Vayo, some South African journalist, is Ugandan, but uh, South African based. Navayo Naga Mambu, you know, basing on the conversation, uh, information you gather in there, from the promoters, those that uh, invited APAS. Hey, APAS, get out of my head. Uh, those that invited Palazzo, Baga Mambu, no, that's actually the true story. Apparently, Adam Balan, he tried to hit on someone's wife, so they ran after him. Palazzo says he was chased by over 100 people that had machetes, that had bricks, that had 100 people. <laughs> no, why not say, say, Palazzo, you know what 100 people? 
uh, when you say 100 people, I'm like, yo, this guy must be. Check at China na mikono na maguru. Anyway, we're not refuting whoever's side of the story, but as long as Palasso is safe, because if he had died, that would have been another gem that we would have lost in the entertainment industry. But uh, I don't want to go with sides. For now, as me, I know, the truth will come out. The truth came out. But you guys can tell us what you think. Who's, um, what story are you believing? Do you believe that it was a xenophobic attack or it was a fight over um, a woman? You can let us know in the comment section and uh, yeah, to judge to watch me. Otherwise, those, those that have joined in, thank you so much. We see uh, Joseph Oino, thank you. You say you're locked in. Then we have uh, Brian Hills Chobe, says uh, he's live from Kenya, thank you so much. And um, Eric Conchiri, good stuff, thank you, thank you. Nicole 211, thank you so much. We greatly appreciate that. And then uh, Sharifa, you're missed. She says she's live from Sweden, but night to talk because we are sorry. Um, Habre Habre says, uh, th thank you so much for joining. Then, um, Panga Fred, thank you so much for joining. Reno Sahil says uh, he's watching. Thank you so much. And uh, you're watching from Nepal. And uh, yes, thank you so much. Just keep the comments coming through. And you can let us know what's your take on the whole Palazzo situation. Well, Palazzo, in one of his latest view, uh, video clips, is, person, is very furious with Deno Chunya's brother. Who drove off? Nga agenda ku nga 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 geza ko kurani ok fighting for his life or nga gula wo rujiro motoka ye ayingire. E yo party yaga minoti yasi so rujiro benziti na na kutoka ko no mukonda na kutoka ko chi ne do opena. Then nga gamba is very bitter with him because how could he drive off? Nga is seeing palaso is being attacked is being beaten. Solomon, if it were you, what would you do? Yo, let's take an example. Yo. Deno's brother. Because we, we, we believe Deno's brother. And, and what had to Palazzo more is because he said that the Deno's brother was putting on a shirt that had raw, representing Red and who? Wizo. Nalo is a Muganda. Bazi Bonga. Sir, that's Ugandans. For you, that's human beings for you. But because I'm lying, but sir, what if it doesn't represent Red and Wizo and it's just probably raw potatoes or something? <laughs> just because you're assuming, Charlie, or guy, it's Ugandans, it's. Man, your brother sang by you that tweet, and how has that not sunk in yet? But would you do? Would you actually wait on a friend go laba? Your life is also at stake, or now you are because they come Uganda what they know. You obviously suggest open the door, let the guy in. Then time, but he took over bricks. The Bambi. Okay, not that I'm heartless or anything, but the nose brother, we have something in common, sir. No, eh. <laughs> I'm pushing on a rush shirt. My hands were trying me to come shirtless because. <laughs> Sir, please. Mm. Okay. Now do say what dance it was. Eh eh. Well, uh, it was. It was. It's not funny. It's really sick. But it was. It, it's sad. It's sad. And we hope that all of them were able to make it out alive. And uh, yeah. Well, with the wounds that Palazzo displayed, uh, then the, what did you expect out of? Uh, did, you, did you expect to see more deep wounds, blah, blah, blah? Be because these ones just seemed as like bruises. I, in Kugambi, I thought the guy had lost a leg, a kidney probably was harvested during the scuffle, basing on how he told the story of a hundred men, Bangobi, Machetes, Bansa, Zesa, Yagambe, Zako, Machetes, Bamkubie, Bricks, Bamkubie. So he was stabbed. I haven't seen any stab wounds. He's yet to show two chabinis because the only ones I've seen Zezawano. I'm sorry about that, but Zezawano. But a hundred men and you only saw. He said that he made two gangs of one hundred men. said no script. I want to care gravity. I swear. And you know, but sorry though, but okay, no seriousness. Sorry, I'm very sorry, sir. And uh, yeah. We hope you get better. The trauma, he apparently is still going to be able to perform. If it was really a xenophobic attack, believe me, he wouldn't live through the trauma. He wouldn't even be able to perform. But if he's still going to perform, kudos. Well, Put up an amazing show. Well, I've come across a Madrat, a Madrat is posted. Madrat is saying. was fighting off thieves. Which thieves? Which thieves? Where were they anyway? They've been hanging out this whole entire time, but this one time they're not together. Well, because Madrat, I think he has a point. Because uh, last week they were in South Africa together with Palazzo. They had gone maybe for a, a show. So there was a time here when they were lapsing and never go. Never go. Yeah. So, um, let's 
Si wanino baba kwa mawako. Well, uh, in fact, by the way, sula ndaula ya singo ulaba, atila nyo bela kwa South Africa. Mm. Sula ndaula ya yalba datu nyo nyeza kwa info dalao ya. Kuwanga la, the last time we were in the podium show ya gamba, I'm, I'm watching you, I'm with Palasso live. So ndo zana, yeah, I, I know to wako kusaidi view, yeah. Uh, yeah. Palasso is also watching. Um, we love you. We are your friends. You are our friend. You are our dear friend. And uh, man, to, story in my to live in, we just really want to clarify before Okay, well, uh, well uh, uh, from Palazzo's story, as you, uh, as you bring, as you, you, you comment on our shows about the topics that we are, we are discussing today, uh, from the Palazzo story, uh, there is the Rema, Chris Evans saga. That, and then Dr. Hamza, because it, 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 is, it is the story. Uh -huh. I'm proud to say I, I watched something like as that with my own two eyes, as that with my own two eyes. Well, uh, yeah, because they are, uh, seemingly they are taking over the social media. Every time you see there's a Rema, Dr. Amza, Chris Evans story, Dr. Rema story, everything is about Rema. Yeah. Well, uh, back to the Valentine event. Uh, the show was very colorful. Everything was lit. The, the, the attires that Rema wore were as pub. Uh, the way, yeah, yeah. Anyway, hmm. uh -huh. we move. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, uh, stage representation. Well, trouble where okay, Hamza, because I heard that Hamza wasn't the one even supposed to introduce who Madame Rebecca Dago on the stage, uh, blah blah blah. Now, yeah, now, yeah. The stage. I didn't even see, because his seat was very far from the stage, but there, because there's a point when he walked to give Rema flowers and it took him a whole minute. When Honorable Rebecca Kadaga got on to Simani Hamza Jayita, but he was there in no time. Because, because, because I got to understand that there was a who, MP, who, uh, there was a name that he, who, who, was the, who was the one who linked Rema mm. to Rebecca, mm. to the Honorable Speaker Rebecca Kadaga. So that guy ha, wa, was the one supposed to do what? To deliver that stuff. Naya Hamza and was like, eh. Naya got there, these lights, these lights, Hamza, this is going to be a good thing, by the way, if you're not careful. This is going to be a good thing. No, 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 no. I have a teach. Well, uh, no, no, we're going to stage, no, we're picking in a mid-wide cheers. So, no, 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 they're having a lifetime of their moment. No, no, story that I know, we're going to go to the mall, Chris Evans. Rema, the way he introduces Chris Evans to come and perform. It was very embarrassing, by the way. I wasn't happy about it. Okay, as much as we have cracked jokes about the whole Chris Evans saga and all Finatu Jimanya Yahamas, it was a little bit disrespectful. Because over and again, there was a agenda it and Kuba ni mukulu. Say Chris Evans. Over the age. Anyway, so yeah, she gets, uh, she calls him, she's like, and now introducing the man who has hit what? Who has hit on the head uh, with a hammer 10 times. Then she rolls her eyes. Baby, so we baby, don't She rolls her my eyes. She's like, I don't know how we count. I don't know how we counted. Nyo, 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 nyo. But Musaja, who actually came and you could tell, was very embarrassed and felt disrespected. I think I don't have any shots in my pocket. He came for her. Uh, he came for her. Namudiza fire. Namudiza fire. Well, uh, well, Rema seemed as if he was. Chris Evans mentioned Eddie Kenzo's name in his, sto in his song, in their song, the Linda collaboration, Linda song, uh, referring the words that they sang, that those are the exact words that Eddie Kenzo was saying. Uh, Linda, Linda, Togenda Bambi. So, Chris Evans, you cracked a joke on me, let me pull one or two. Well, Raymond was out of the blue. Okay, those are now now we take a more feeling. Do you, do you think? I'll show your husband yeah. seated right there. They're cracking exes about your. Uh, they're cracking jokes about your ex. Of course, you get mad. Now I'm seeing the can. Be, it, it, anyway. But uh, but I think uh, Rema would have handled it in a more calm way. Uh, not really, no, not in such a manner because uh, be, because the way like she seemed. Now now to Kanagano say Oyimba the remaining part of the song. It really it really looked bad. Auntie. Well, what's your take on that? First of all, the name Kenzo hadn't been mentioned like since the show had started. The name by the way, get the The only time they I think made something the MC Naya, the lady, I've forgotten her name, the lady that works on Bukede, she said something about eh muzele romu juza mwako zemu aya ya katono kom limo bagumu jeko. Ebi big gambo si be a fe no. It's just a word. But people have now tied words to people and 
So that Chris Evans coming out and actually really saying Eddie Kenzo was him dropping a mother of all bombs on them. Well, it's still about Rema and then the Amza. Well, what's your take about Rema stopping journalists from interviewing Dr. Amza after the end of the show? I'd, I'd do the same. I do the same. If I'm a celebrity, my husband isn't. He clearly doesn't know what to say. Because Bajaku was able to, since Rema is not around, his unsupervised is like a toddler at that moment. Mu industry, mu. The whole fame thing. This is someone we didn't know. So all this is exciting. Bajaku was there. To, uh, to a question where you would have just said, I prefer not to talk about it. Ajaku wo get up wo gezi. So best no mujao. And she actually asked nicely, only that people <laughs> are never gonna man more exaggerating than better ni mugamba, which is now the man in the relationship, bichi bichi, but I mean she's the celebrity. If also it came to let me say in the field of medicine and Rema was trying to overstep her boundaries, I'm pretty sure Hamza would check her. So I do the same. Don't you think Hamza needs to step aside from the limelight and then He should and clearly he's enjoying the light. Cause now wherever I see Rema, I tumble in a handbag here, Hamza, they are like this. Teba Ukana these days, I don't know. I don't know why. And it's irritating right now. Okay, yes, you're in love, you're young in love, but please don't make us throw up on the streets just because. Well, Rome also has it that Rema uh, somehow got to go for another to go to Netherlands for a gig because of what? Because uh, reportedly because that Hamza was not your yet offered with the what? With the with the, with the, with, the, with the ticket. If it was you and then like, what would you, what would you do about that? I would have gone. Take a I'm going with you. Are you my manager or promoter or something? That whole thing, it's not funny and it's going to cost her if she's not careful. Katero Wama Sama thinks that uh, Hamza should, okay. Hamza should what, should what? Should join the entertainment industry. What's your take about that? Kolechi, I am guy now every, all the female, female artists. Kasacha Fuka wali Jasmine cause ha ha. Anyway, so but no no no. Let him stay in his field and buloma bede be sanga waka all that drama that they're doing just to stay relevant. It's quite useless and nauseous for some of us. Well, uh, si Papa was again uh, last year. Si Papa was threatened with being evicted from a rental somewhere. Mm. So this time around in Namugongo. He was thrown out of a rental, a rental Jalia Fuller studio. And I reasoned that I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it only because of seven million. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, the, yeah, because, because once we call the social aid, uh, a person like Alex like, like, Papa, we don't think that you could fail to pay seven million. Okay, to change. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, what do you think about a uh, social aid being thrown out of a rental? Before we even talk about the rental issue, what happened to the wedding? There's a wedding as anticipating because Shwadila had an invite. What happened? <laughs> he to his two girlfriends. Three? What be a comma? See, Papa, I was by a really expectant because I had Walogena Kujira helicopter bump it in program. At least if I don't get an invite, I have to crash that wedding. So, but if rumors of you being indicted come up, then clearly let me push my hopes back. I'll wait, pack up, but Oba, Oba is just, I don't know. Sometimes he has money, other times he doesn't. When you're laughing at him, the next time he comes up, he's like, Nkomio, and then we're like, we thought you're broke. <laughs> Baba, I'm be sorry about that, though. But, 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 Rach, okay, doesn't he have his own home? Why do they have rent? Why are they renting apartments with all the money that they have, yet they, could, they, they might as well just buy a house or build one better, even? Those are their answers to answer. Those are their, their, their questions to answer. Well, uh, the ghetto kids, the triplets ghetto kids are finally now happy and com 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 confident that they own their match in the best Salama Road home that was being threatened to be taken away from them because they had failed to fulfill, uh, to to do what? Uh, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I don't have also for the triplets ghetto oh, kids. Okay. Are, I told you that was my high. Um, I'm, I'm very happy for them. At least now we're getting like, oh, cool guys, this, that, la, 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 to cause a concert. I'm happy. I, I hope they now can rest their case. They were given money, the extra 14 million, to be used as a uh, upkeep. So that doesn't, that isn't much, but um, it's better than nothing. So I'm happy for them. At least now you have a home that you can call your own permanently. Ngatemusuze mubunke, care anything, and uh, it's it's great.
because even time was elapsing. So the Parliament of Uganda, uh, Honorable Rebecca, Rebecca speak of Kadaga, comes upon, upon, upon delivering, uh, fulfilling to the promise. Well, uh, uh, there is also, uh, well, uh, the Twitter went abuzz when like they tried to compare EPAS to, uh, to that Andre. Very wrong comparison. Very wrong comparison. I love them both. You all know that Andre is my guy, and uh, if you didn't know EPAS is my guy too, but that's a very wrong comparison wastage of time. I mean, psh, it's clearly. Need I say? EPAS, my guy. I don't know what you think, Daddy Andre EPAS, but I even think the comparison isn't worth it. Epas bragged about being the Ugandan president of, of uh, the president of Ugandan music. What's your take? By the way, you should know I love Epas so much. So yes. Yes. Over yes. 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 Okay, we move on. <laughs> so by the way, guys, um, I can see the comments have been coming through. Thank you so much. Uh, Edgar Edgar Baron, you say you're live from Chad Dondo and uh, Sean, Ricky, you're watching from Nansana. Thank you so much. Then Mulimba, Francis, you're live. Uh, Kisumu, Kenya. Thank you. Balam, Bob, Josh, Josh, Lela, Dete. Wali, Wali. I'm going to be around next week on Thursday. Uh, then uh, Edgar, you're asking, when did I join the army? Banange. How sh I've been in this thing for a while. I mean, this thing for a while. Um, King Asgard, thank you so much for joining. And uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. Panga Fred. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Melad Milo Fula, thank you. Kwegamba, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And Ankata uh, Ronaldo, joining the lead, but thank you so much. Ooh, Melad joined Kasese. Thank you so much for watching. You're missed greatly. Uh, well, uh, as time is not our friend, uh, uh, we are going to discuss about, we are going to give highlights about the new music that has it hit us this week. Uh, one, there is Jasmine's latest song. Uh, what's your take about that song? Uh, it's a cool video. The audio. Mm. On a scale of 10, I'd give it like a 6.925. <laughs> uh, uh, then there's John Black and Slim Princess Oduam. Uh, I love John Black so much, but can I but can I? love the video though, like what Jimmy Utinga, and you just watch John Black and this six pack, it's amazing. But I think you should have started that song because. Mm. Slim Prince, they are and now with the money it deserves. And I think John Black would have done a better job. Slim Prince had spent around two weeks in Uganda and got to the way to the Jabuli Maround. So, 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 so we thought a better project would come up. Uh, well, uh, Shiba, Fit Fit for Maker, what do you think mm -mm. about that song? Take a nanko No, they, on a, leave alone in the video, the song itself, if I'm to give I'll give it a three. Uh, Space Dan had the uh, Space Dan and then chosen by the moon. Nice song, it's a nice song. Really, we need to imagine you, 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 but yeah, it's a, it's a nice song. The I like the chemistry in the video. Uh, then, uh, that Andre, and then who? Angela Katatumba. Ah, ah, I haven't even listened to that song. I'm ready because I'm biased. Why is Angela Katatumba on that song? Well, uh, to wrap up the show, um. Uh, let me take you to Tanzania a bit. A little bit. Uh, Diamond Platinum's and, uh, and his baby mama, Tanisha Donna, released a song called Girl. He has millions of views, you guy. Yesterday I checked it uh, 14 hours after it had been released and it had already hit a million views. Eh. Well, well what's your take about um, American producer, Swizzy Beats, endorsing the song? What else? What do I say? What do I have to say? And it's a great song, by the way. It's a great song, great visual. So, yeah, it deserved the endorsement that it got. Because, in fact, it is always hard to see these, uh, those American big artists, uh, big producers, sharing the songs on their what? Yes. On their shows. Uh, but, the, but Swiss Beats took that step, shared the song on his Instagram account. Well, uh, send out your last shout-outs to your friends uh, who, are, who have been watching everybody. For all those that have been watching, thank you so much. Hassan, to me. Sisa. <laughs> This is our two million mother that has been watching, but thank you so much. Uh, Melad Milofula, Sanyu Mariam, Kata Ronald, Edgar H. Baron, King Asgard, Panga Fred, Bamba Devanji. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, just keep it Mbu, just keep it Mbu the children, Instagram, Mbu on Twitter, Mbu on Facebook, of course. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel that's Mbu. And all the stories that we talk about are on Mbu the Chuji. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, from uh, the podium team, Solomon Norente. Peace.